So hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs. I'm crossing things off my to-do list. I already sold my turnips, which was a big thing on my to-do list today. <laughs> and now it's time to do some actual real life to-do list items. So I've been doing some stuff outside. I trimmed our rose plant yesterday because it was going out of control. And we brought in the cushions from the fire pit because pollen season's over. So they are all nice and washed and sitting over here waiting for the next step. We don't call it pollen season here. What do we call it? The pollening. The pollening. <laughs> like yes. The yes, it's like the happening, but it's the pollening, yep. yes. Exactly. The chairs in the fire pit are all covered in pollen. So Mike is gonna take them and power wash them. He's gonna like power wash the whole back area either this afternoon or tomorrow. Because right now, the dogs are locked in and they're anxious because Tesla is here working on Mike's car because that's something Tesla does. It's like a mobile service where you put a request in for an appointment and they come out and work on your car in your own driveway. So they are here installing a new computer system into his Tesla and I'm gonna go upstairs and work on my office memory boxes and closet. Okay, so this is what I'm doing today. I am going through, these are three memory boxes that moved with me to Texas. They haven't been open since I moved here. So I'm gonna go through them, see if there's anything I can purge at this point. Um, and if not, I'm just gonna add in my extra memory stuff that I've accumulated. There's all my half marathon magnets and my Kessel Run armband and my Coast to coast armband, all the memories. I used to always pick up park maps and save park maps. So I've got a bunch of old school park maps. I've got a Horror Nights 21 ad, 2010 Horror Nights map, 2011 Horror Nights map, student ticket from a UF game, Kentucky game in 2006, Horror Nights 24, 25, Another 24, 22, 2009. My legendary truth decal. Should I keep that out for my next video I do? I think I probably should. Talk about a flashback. Let's see, we can go ride Soarin', go ride Star Tours, Rock and Roller Coaster. Oh, oh California screaming. Oh, shed a tear for that. Hyperspace Mountain, that was such a good one. My dad didn't ride it, so I just saved his Fast Pass and another Star Tours. And yes, I save all my passports from every festival at Epcot ever. <laughs> Found some of my UF graduation pictures that were taken by my lovely friend Devin. Look how long my hair was. This is actually in the journalism school. You know, how to do my Nixon moment there in the J school. And then, yep, University of Florida. Goodness, this was 13 years ago. That is crazy. Found these 3D glasses from Jack's Fun House. It was a 3D house back in 2007. This is my first Horror Night shirt that I ever bought. It was 2007. Oh, hi, what you guys doing? Oh, uh, huggers. <laughs> No hugs. No. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm getting ready for Soul Groove. Ready to do some dancing, burn some calories. And then I have a lot to do today on my to-do list. She's fostering a dog. And the pup's like, what's going on? <laughs> Y'all can't see it, but there's a there's an English muffin sandwich like right in front of the computer. Which probably wasn't the best idea. That's why he keeps on trying to sneak over here. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> 
and done. <sighs> that was a good one. 328 calories burned, apparently. But before I jump in the shower, I'm gonna go do a little yard work. We got a mulch delivery from some Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts, this was before the pandemic. Boy Scouts were going around selling mulch. But I'm gonna put some in our front flower beds as well. I went and did the mulch in all the front beds. Hence my face is still bright red because <laughs> It's pretty warm out there. Now Mike is working on some of his projects. Right now working on cleaning our outdoor fans which get super pollinated as well. Clean, clean, cleaning. So there's the chairs, they look all nice and fresh. Grill is clean, which we'll come back to that in a moment. But he's got a few other projects he wants to do in the back of the yard, back there. Trying to get rid of the mud pit and uh-oh. Bye Ash and Colby. Our grocery stores seem to have returned to normal as far as ordering groceries where I could order groceries today, pick them up today, or order groceries for tomorrow and it'd be free. A little concerned about that because that means probably everyone's just going back to the grocery stores as normal because the governor opened the state. It must be safe out there. But I digress. <laughs> I'm still gonna try to not pick up too often because it still increases your likelihood of exposure. As far as the grill, I have never grilled before, ever. I've never learned to grill. So I've been using this dinky little grill pan in the kitchen when we have a grill. So my to-do list this week is I'm gonna learn to use the grill. I've been watching YouTube videos, I'm gonna buy some things to grill, and I'm gonna grill. It's summer, I love grilled foods, it's time to learn, Liz. So Mike cleaned off the grill for me, it's all ready to use. So I'm sitting down to do my planner here while I watch a little TV. And I've been saving this one for May the 4th, which is coming up tomorrow. So may the 4th be with you. Here's my adorable Star Wars themed planner stickers with Baby Yoda. So I am going to plan off camera and show you the end result. Okay, so there it is. I started filling out our meal plans. These are our Marley Spoon items. <laughs> so I already knew those were coming. There it is, look how cute. Oh, Baby Yoda, you're the best. So tonight we're having vegetarian pad thai. You might hear it in the background because it's in the final steps. So simmering in the sauce right now. It's looking and smelling delicious. There it is. Open it. Ooh, steam up the camera. Too close. Hopefully it's delicious. I love pad thai, so I might be a little bit of a harsh critic. We'll see. It was definitely easy to make, so if it's delicious, thumbs up for that. The pad thai was quite good. I feel like it was missing some of the nuances of real pad thai, but that's probably because real pad thai has a thousand ingredients. That is a simplified version. And now it's time for a little more Destiny with Brittany and Jordan to close out the weekend. <laughs> Jordan! Okay, there you are. <laughs> oh. All right, just for the record. What? <laughs> okay, but for the record, on my screen the first time, it looked like Jordan just came in and just hit hard left and pushed me off a cliff. So I'm not sure what happened on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. The second time, I just hit my boost at the wrong time and just careened into Brittany and off a cliff. But the first time it looked like Jordan was push purposely pushing me off a cliff. Man, I'm crying. That was, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm crying from, from laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, you know what? I was actually recording that. So we'll be able to see, you can see what, <laughs> what it looked like on my screen. No, because I still don't know how to do it. I've just got my camera set up, but. So hey guys, happy Monday. I'm upstairs actually working on ordering groceries right now. Then I realized tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. So I think we have to do something Cinco de Mayo related, right? We have to do some nachos or something. But speaking of dates, more importantly, I can't believe I forgot to start with this. May the 4th be with you all. As you can see, I've got my little R2 back here. Oh, and I'm wearing my at at shirt, and I've got my earrings in. So I am celebrating. Oh, and the child's 
this is the way. So I am celebrating in my own little way and I am really missing Star Wars weekends. How many of you out there miss Star Wars weekends? Star Wars weekends was truly for the fans and it felt like a mega con for Star Wars fans that lasted a month. It was at Disney. There was so much to do. Star Wars weekends just had so much more of an old school Star Wars vibe to it and uh, I miss it. So I'm going to link to my Star Wars weekends. If I don't have a playlist, I'll go ahead and create a playlist. I think there's only like a handful of vlogs from it and you guys should go check them out because they're some of my absolute favorite vlogs because we always had so much fun. Usually my Star Wars weekends vlogs include Ron and Michael because they were my other Star Wars fans, so we usually went together. So I just went and made the playlist. Apparently I only vlogged it in 2014 and 2015. I went in 2012, but I guess I didn't vlog it. I just took pictures because that was like in between time of not really vlogging and I was hadn't moved to Orlando yet. I was just visiting Orlando actually to do my job interview to get my job that I got in Orlando that I moved to Orlando for. So I happened to be in town during it, doing the interview. I went with Ron and then I have no idea why I didn't vlog it in 2013. I'm sure I went in 2013. There's no way I didn't go. I lived in Orlando. 2013 was still a very inconsistent year with vlogging. Like I would vlog certain things, pretty much everything I went to at the parks, which is why I don't know why I didn't vlog it, but for whatever reason, I didn't vlog it. Tonight we're having spinach and tomato lasagna rolls from Marley Spoon. Sounds amazing. We're adding the pesto into the tomato sauce, which was very interesting. I've never done that before. So this mixture is sun-dried tomatoes, ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And these are some of all my favorite things. So I'm very excited for the filling of the lasagna rolls. The lasagna rolls are in there. Now they're gonna get covered with the sauce and go into bake. And it's going in the oven. Fresh out of the oven, we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and then we're gonna drizzle it over with some pesto. So there it is with the pesto oil drizzled on top. I think it's gonna be a good one. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> Bear's <laughs> lost his mind. He was in the middle of zoomies and playing with Ash and now he's just like going around in circles losing his mind. <laughs> what in the world just happened? Look at his paw, that's not even comfortable. You just give up? What in the world just happened? He has never done that before. Ash, what did you do, brother? Did you break brother? You can't be comfortable. Look at this arm. What's his arm doing? I can't be comfy. <laughs> did you lose your mind a little bit? So, hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is getting to be evening time and <laughs> I was supposed to pick up our groceries from HEB at 3.30 and it is Cinco de Mayo. It is May 5th or Revenge of the 5th if you're a Star Wars fan. I bought stuff in order to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and as of 10.40 this morning, I got a text from them that says they're having a technical outage and they would text us when our groceries were ready. Well, it's now 4.45 p.m. and like I said, our pickup window was 3.30 to 4 and I haven't heard anything and nothing is updated anywhere on the app, email, anything. I feel like we're not having our Cinco de Mayo celebration. It's not looking good. I have no idea when these groceries are gonna be ready. Well, their system is still down. HEB system is down through like the entire state. So nobody's getting their curbside groceries today. I was like, well, we can just have something else out of the fridge. And we decided to order from Chewy's and I swear I did not wear this on purpose. It just happened that way. So we're going to get Chewy's now and uh, celebrate Cinco de Mayo that way. Well, Chewy's is reopened to 25% capacity. And as you can see, there's quite a few cars here. Quite a few cars behind us. So yeah, people are definitely coming out for Cinco. I guess we're just gonna have to pick a parking spot and text it in because they're looks like they're pretty full. Uh -huh. I feel like we were falsely led to believe that this wasn't going to be so bad based on the 18 minute wait time from our order. 
but there's a lot of people here. It's obviously not working quite as smoothly as it's supposed to because there's usually only <laughs> two to-go parking spots and not all of these other parking spots. I have texted and we'll see what happens. I don't know why we thought this would be a good idea. <laughs> We know it's Cinco de Mayo. We don't normally go out on Cinco de Mayo. We know better, but it's because when you do your order on Chewy's, it gives you a time and it was only 18 minutes. We're like, oh, that's not bad at all. When we ordered just, what, two weeks ago when we ordered, it was like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So 18 minutes, we're like, oh, it's not bad at all. They've got this. They don't got this. I tried calling the number that you're supposed to call when you're there to pick up or to go and it's stuck in a loop. So when you press one to pick up your order, it just sends you back to the same tree. So that would explain why everyone was walking up because their pickup system's not working for curbside. So Mike just left to go with all the people. Now he had, he does have his mask today. So he has his mask and everyone is social distancing. There's like a six feet space between each person. Now, majority of people aren't wearing masks, but they're separated. But I don't know why we thought this was smart. We're smarter than this. We know you don't try to go to Chewy's on National Margarita Day or National Taco Day. Our pickup time was 6.45 and now it's 7.15. Hopefully our food's ready and he doesn't have to wait long. We're gonna find out. So the moral of the story is that we're idiots <laughs> for thinking that not everyone else would have the same idea today. Well, we're home with no food. So Mike stood up there for probably 15 minutes. One of the people there was from Grubhub and they asked and the Chewy's person said that they were on about a two hour backlog. I can understand what's happened is that I'm sure their website is set up to take online orders as if it's normal operations and not during quarantine slash, especially on a holiday where everyone wants Mexican food. So I assume that their system's not set up for it. So it just is continually taking orders and orders and orders and orders and not giving an accurate wait time. Cause if we'd seen two hour wait time, we definitely wouldn't have ordered. Okay, it's 8.20 and Mike just left to go, fingers crossed, pick up our food. Brittany, please be ready. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it has finally arrived. It's here. It's a little not quite super hot because Mike said that they were calling our name for like 20 minutes before we arrived. So probably actually ready around 8.10. So we're like an hour and a half behind. So we're going to enjoy now. Okay, bye. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It was an interesting night last night. Um, we had another storm roll through around 4 a.m. And this guy, This guy right here was very not happy about it. He likes to come over on my side of the bed where I have my fan blowing and I think maybe it helps block some of the sound for him. So he woke me up because he was over there and kind of whining and panting and worried. And then he started scratching at the office door like where I work out. And he's never done that before. So he let himself in there. And then of course, once he let himself in, the doors closed behind him. I was awake and aware this was happening. So I got up and let him back out. He did it a second time. So the third time I got up and just opened the doors all the way. And I'm like, here, I'm just gonna open the doors. If you wanna come in here, you can. And while I was doing that, he jumped up in my spot of the bed. And I think that was his plan the whole time <laughs> was that he was, cause he's definitely a herding breed. I think he was herding me into the other room in order to steal my spot in bed because he wanted to be right next to Mike. <laughs> I think it was all part of his plans. So I need to go outside because Blue Angels are doing a flyover Houston today as part of just trying to lift everyone's spirits with all the quarantine and everything that's been happening. So I'm gonna go outside, hoping we can see them. I don't know, we have a lot of trees <laughs> in our neighborhood. We're gonna hear them, I'm sure. Whether we can see them is another story, so let's go outside. Mike is actually at his parents trying to help his dad with his Tesla, so obviously he's not gonna make it back here in time. So I'm gonna go out on my own. I'm sure he's watching from their house. Let's go see if we can see the Blue Angel. Well, it's a beautiful day. The rain definitely cooled it off a little bit. I'd say we're low 80s, but not humid, which is great. Now we just wait, see if I'm gonna be able to see him. Is that a regular plane? <laughs> Dang, Mike just messaged me, that was them. 
I guess they could see them from Mike's parents' house, but we just have too many trees. I'm sure they were like right through there. You could have seen them, but we just have too many trees. So that was them. They could hear them. A little anticlimactic. <laughs> I'm a little upset because if Mike was here and Mike went outside, you would have been barking the entire time, mad that he was outside and being bossy. But I went outside and you didn't care. Well, what's up with that? You don't care about me? <laughs> when Mike goes outside and Foster hasn't given his approval, he stands at the door barking the whole time. I was outside and he's like, I'm napping. It's fine. Whatever, mom. <laughs> My buoy. Speaking of boys, I haven't even seen my son. Oh, there he is. Not the least bit concerned. He and his gator are sunbathing together. <laughs> At this point. Good afternoon, my son. Hi. How are you doing? Were you enjoying your sunbathing? I'm sorry to disturb you. You didn't have to come inside. You can keep sunbathing. I know you love your outdoor time. You are the most outdoorsy dog we have. So in other news, at 11 p.m. last night, I got a text with all my substitution slash items they didn't have at HEB. So I think they kept their staff late to do all the shopping that they couldn't do yesterday. So I got a call this morning that we could come basically whenever. So we just got our Marley spoon and I'm unpacking it and they forgot our recipe cards. <laughs> Is it a full moon? Have we crossed into the twilight zone? How are you all <laughs> handling it out there? Is this week just wonky for everybody? Is it just me? How's everyone doing? How are you holding up out there? Just give me an update. Let me know you're all doing okay <laughs> because I feel like the four workers at HEB probably had a terrible day yesterday. Chewy's definitely had a terrible day yesterday. I think pretty much every Mexican place had a terrible day yesterday and apparently feeling for the workers at Marley Spoon because they're having a rough week too. <laughs> so how are you guys? How's your week going? Okay, so I made it to HEB and holy cow, there are so many more people out. I actually got stuck in traffic on the way here and there's a ton more cars out and about. Oh, so our Raising Canes, the line for the drive-thru is actually wrapped around. There's gotta be 20 cars in that line for Raising Canes. Where are all you people coming from? What are you doing? I give up. I raise my white flag and give up on these two days, <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on in the universe, but I give up. Got home, I'm unpacking groceries. I'm already annoyed because I don't have all my groceries. So I've been unpacking, cleaning it off, trying to figure out what's missing so I can call them and let them know. And as luck would have it, timing wise, Mike gets home, I have the door to the garage open because I've been bringing in groceries and he opens the garage door so all the dogs go bolting out and I did not see it happen but Mike did Colby got hit by a car he's fine at least we think so far he seems fine his left leg has some marks on it from the car but and maybe his face too but it just looks like dirt. It's not actual okay. scrapes and he's acting like he's fine. He walked right back into the house and he's not acting like he's in pain aside from maybe just a little sore. Oh, there's another right there. He's got a bloody little spot under his arm. Mm. Just like maybe like road rash. Yeah, that's all that looks like that is. So, it's not actually bleeding. Yeah, he just got a little bit of road rash there and a little bit on his paw. But basically the, the kid that was driving in his Jeep was thankfully slowed down because our neighbor dog across the street is super elderly and he keeps getting out. So the kid that was driving was actually slowing down to watch that dog to make sure he didn't run in front. And then Colby came running straight out in front of him. So. So we definitely gave Mike our attack. I missed it. I didn't realize what was happening until I looked out and saw Colby just running by. So thankfully, Ash came right back in, obviously, because he's obedient. He was still standing in the driveway. I went out and grabbed Colby. Colby, you just got hit by a car, can you not? Long story short, 
came and grabbed Colby the by the collar, brought him in. Thankfully, in all the hubbub, Foster had run back to the garage and basically ran back in himself. So I think he's okay. So I've held it together because it looks like he's fine. Definitely gonna keep an eye on him, but looks like he's maybe just gonna be a little sore from getting him. Mike said it was just like the way he got hit was just like just enough where it like spun him around. But he said, you know, if the guy had been going any faster, it would have been much worse. So <sighs> definitely having a heart attack. He seems to be okay. Okay, so it's about 30 minutes later. I've had a little bit of time to calm down, to snuggle Colby. He's passed out in a nap now. I think he's going to be totally fine. He's been jumping up on stuff. He's been jumped up for an ice cube. He seems to be acting normal so far. Again, we'll wait for the adrenaline to wear off and see. I'm sure he's gonna be a little sore. Mike went and told the neighbor, like, hey, what's happening? Why are you letting your dog wander around all the time? And I guess she said that the dog is 16 years old now and she used to just go outside the front door and then just lay in the grass so she would let her do that. She didn't realize that she had been wandering. Anyway, it was just a really bad timing of me still having the door of the garage open when Mike got home. I didn't know he was coming home. He didn't give me the heads up that he was almost home. He had been over at his parents, like I said, helping them with their Tesla. So it was just bad timing. I feel like my past two days, the universe has really been trying me. Pretty sure I'm gonna make myself an alcoholic beverage because I feel like I need one now. Definitely not getting anything done today. <laughs> and then I called HEB and sure enough, they still have all of my stuff sitting there so my guy just didn't find everything and I'm sure it was chaos because they had all of yesterday's pickups and today's. So they have all my stuff and I'm like, yeah, I'll come back later tonight because I'm not going out in all this madness with everything that just happened. I'll wait till this evening when it's calmed down, I'll come get my stuff. Try to erase the events of the last hour from my memory because, <sighs> wow, what a day. So it's the evening and this guy still seems completely fine. He's been acting normal. He didn't have his normal play romp tonight, but that's about the only difference. He was excited about dinner. He did his jumping thing that he does for dinner. I think the only thing he really has from it, which I'm probably gonna have to turn the flashlight on, on my phone, that is his only real wound. It's like what I would consider like a strawberry. I don't know if you guys ever played baseball or softball where you slide and they call it a, a strawberry. So his brother checking you out. That's pretty much it, right under his armpit. Probably just a little bit of tire burn maybe? I'm not really quite sure. I'm able to touch it all and he doesn't seem to react at all, so I think he's all good there. I think he just got dirty. And then he had one little tiny cut back here on this paw, but he's already licked that and it seems fine. I think all is well with Bear. I've of course been watching him like a hawk all afternoon and testing out his arm and kind of squeezing and touching and he hasn't had any sort of reaction. So he's limping maybe like a little bit right when he came inside from it, but I think that was maybe just the initial pain of being hit because he seemed fine all evening. He's been trotting around like it's nothing. So he gave us quite the scare today, boy. So now I'm gonna go out and get the rest of my groceries that they didn't bring out to my car earlier. And I'm wondering if maybe all the cars were out because they went to try to go see the Blue Angels. Like they told us just to stay at home and watch from home, but obviously people aren't <laughs> really listening at this point. So I think maybe a lot of people drove to go try to see them. And when I was out and about, everyone was trying to get back home and like going to get lunch and stuff. I don't know, but it was wild out, so. So I ate my Chewy's leftovers around three o'clock. So that was kind of my dinner. And I made Mike some very fancy hot dogs for his dinner, because he didn't have any leftovers. So now I am sitting down to watch Survivor. Based on the editing for the beginning of this episode, I think Nick is going to win immunity. <laughs> so when they show who they want to vote out that early, usually it means they're gonna win immunity. So we'll see if I'm right. Did I call it? Yeah, I know this show. <laughs> you changed the editing style some, but not enough, Survivor. You're real obvious. Double elimination. Michelle's doing her 50-50. Let's see what happens. Who is she gonna play it for? Play it for yourself, Michelle. Just do it for yourself. Yeah, I'll play it for myself. Thank you, Michelle. 
Jeremy might go home for that, but you deserve to play it for yourself. Safe. She got it. Now let's see. Will it be Jeremy or Ben? Uh, who's it gonna be? Ah, oh, dang it. Bye, Jeremy. Yay, Michelle won immunity. I'm so happy for her. Well, I hope they go for Ben or Nick and not Denise. That's my hope. <laughs> nice try, Ben. Okay, second elimination. Is it gonna be Denise? Please no. Okay, that was expected. Okay. Two votes, Denise. Two votes, Nick. That's three votes, Nick. Oh! 16th person My girl lasts another week. Well done, yes. Bye, Nick. I think she totally deserves a spot back in the game. 32 days on edge. And she has rocked the edge. I can't believe the season's already gonna be over next week. It was such a good season. I'm gonna miss it so much, especially since they haven't filmed season 41 yet, so who knows when we're getting season 41. <sighs> it's so good, can't wait for next week. It's a new day and I'm upstairs going to do some more prep for my certification. I did realize when I started prepping for this on Tuesday that I have a few other modules I need to do to prep for it that they didn't include in my other coursework. So I'm kind of going through and working through those. So I got a message from Marley Spoon that their supplier did not get their recipe cards to them in time. So all the recipes this week will just be on the app. So tonight I am making this saucy tortellini florentine with balsamic green beans. So they sent us ravioli instead of tortellini, but there it is fresh out of the oven. Still should be delicious. Another thumbs up from us, even though they sent us ravioli instead of tortellini. Still tastes delicious. Do some Animal Crossing. I started creating a diner last night and then Kara and Jeremy from Magic Geekdom invited me over to their island because they were doing a diner item giveaway. Cataloging event, I should say. And so I got a bunch more items from my diner. Here's my Animal Crossing update. This is my upstairs area. So it's actually turning out to be pretty cute at the moment. Obviously this is not my normal style. I am not usually super into pink and cutesy items. However, I collected a bunch of them and I got some more from Kara and Jeremy yesterday. So I'm just kind of turning that into the theme of this room. So it's like my little character's office. She's got her little filming light. Obviously some cactus, that's definitely me. Some popcorn, my favorite snack. And she's got a little booth over here. She's doing some homework and some science experiments. So I just moved a bunch of stuff out of the living room um, in order to put it in the basement. So still got a lot of work to do in here. I'm not really happy with my living room at the moment, but so here's my kitchen at the moment. I still need some dang counters or something where I can put my kitchen items on. So right now I'm just using log stools, but got my KitchenAid mixer, my rice cooker over there. I love the little toaster, it's so cute. And then I just got this table today. I don't think I've changed much in my bathroom from the last time I filmed. I think I added, oh, I got a second tub and I added the bamboo light. I think that's pretty much the only changes in the bathroom since the last time I filmed. Bedroom is also pretty much the same. I think the only change is I got this lava lamp that's in there. Oh, and I got my cacti. So I've got my cacti over there as well. So my basement, I had all my gaming systems down here, but I just took all of them to put in my little diner that I'm creating. So I just put this all down in here. This is going to take a lot more work. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do down here. As far as outside the home, I think you guys saw all the work I did here, but I don't think you saw that I added Starbucks. <laughs> so I have my own little Starbucks here. It's my coffee machine, little area where everyone can come enjoy some coffee. So I added that. I think you guys have seen all of this, maybe. So these are all my extra DIY recipes that I'm waiting for someone to come visit and take from me. So I got my little chair there and then I moved I moved all the exercise equipment here. 
so it's away from my house now. And then I'm gonna scurry over to this other part of the island, hold on. Okay, so here's my work in progress diner. I just paid off my stairs for it, so it'll have stairs up here tomorrow. Got a couple diner areas, I've got my games, and they're not completely scooted to where I want them because I'm gonna add a little fence around it, so that's on my to-do list for tonight. But yeah, I just started this yesterday. So we can have a little diner up here. Diner slash arcade. Happy Friday. Hoping to get through most of the end of my studying for the certification today, at least the guided studying. And then my plan, if it's not raining, we do have rain in the forecast, is to grill some burgers tonight. My first time using the grill, we'll see how that goes. And then hopefully we do another movie night because that's kind of our Friday tradition now. Yeah, we are in the process. We're getting there, almost hot enough. So I'm out here grilling for the first time and our landscapers just arrived. They're super late. So uh, they're gonna come in here and work on our yard while I'm grilling. <laughs> All right, there's our grilled burgers. I did it, I grilled. Look at me, I'm a real adult. That was super easy. I don't know why I haven't done that before. We're definitely gonna be grilling a lot this summer. And I made a little cucumber salad to go with it. So, Mike's got red onion in his. I did not do that for myself. There we go. Okay, it's time to draw this week's movie. And it's my turn. Well, let's see what we're gonna get. It needs to be another short one. This is the one I picked. Wally! This one is off my list that Mike has not seen. Okay, we're all getting snuggled in for movie night. Here's Bear, and he is all good. His little strawberry scabbed over nicely, and he is still perfectly good. So that is the end of the week update. Oh, yeah. He is fine. Thank goodness. So now we're going to watch Wally. Family movie night. Yeah, beans under there already. <laughs> Way out there beyond this hill town, Barnaby. It was cute as always. Thumbs up from Mike. What's that? Thumbs up from Mike. Yeah. He gives some thumbs up. I just get a glare. Yeah! <laughs> Another movie night is done, and that means it is time for bed around here. So I will see you guys again next week. Bye!